I, the other one is uh, Blue Velvet. Blue Velvet's another one. When I, I sh- oh, you guys got to check out Blue Velvet. And I've shown it to friends and they just go, no way, man. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Isabella Rossellini beaten up walking down the street is terrible. Yeah. yeah. It's rough. It's very rough. Oh, man. Razorhead was, it just opened up all these possibilities within cinema. You know, you just, it wasn't like anything I had seen before. It was so genuine to itself. You know, it was just from somebody who was, you could just tell, David Lynch, I mean, I'd seen Blue Velvet, so I knew who he was. But then when I watched Razorhead, it was kind of um, just someone following their instincts and just being just true to themselves. And it was something that so many people told me how weird it was. And I didn't, I go, oh, this is a a movie about a guy afraid of getting married and having a kid, you know? And you watch it and you go, I bet this guy was, you know, married and had a kid and was freaked out. And then I, you know, read his book and yeah, he was, <laughs> you know, it was just like, it was an artistic expression of his fears, you know, of yeah, he's married to someone and her family and, and, you know, getting this girl pregnant who's a little crazy and not really, and she doesn't like him and they have this really acrimonious relationship and he lusts for that woman across the hallway and fear of having a baby and what if that baby is deformed, you know? I always remember when the baby's crying and it's in the night and has the humidifier on and then he turns on the light and the baby has all the sores over his face and Jack Nance goes, oh, you are sick. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ. And then, you know, the lady in the elevator and the, sorry, the, uh, the lady in the radiator, you know, her coming out of the darkness when she sings uh, in heaven. I always thought that was so creepy. She just comes right out of total darkness. I just appreciated something that worked on this kind of like horror film level, but was so unique to itself, to that person. And it was such a, it was just very honest and heartbreaking. And again, I keep going, it's just something very I think, relatable to people. It was like the, a guy, just his own expression of what he was going through, but it came out in this weird story. You know, I, I just thought, oh, wow, you could do that. That's really cool. You know? It all kind of has this 50s kind of 60s vibe to it, especially that scene with the parents. You know, you you watch what happens in that scene, and if you don't say what the scene is, but you just put it out in an outline, it is Ozzy and Harriet kind of thing, you know, going to meet the parents, they sit down to eat dinner and everything like that. But in this one, it's, you know, the chicken starts shooting blood out between its legs, basically, and it's... uh, you know, these close-ups of the orifice and it's just this, it's it's this like terror of, I don't know, sexuality or something, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's really unnerving, but it means something. It's not just kind of surface and, and there for effect, you know? And his best stuff, I always feel like there's always this really, really deep meaning to it that I think to him is really simple, right. you know? <laughs> Elephant Man is a brilliant film, yeah. It was so heartbreaking too, I remember my parents telling me about the elephant man and I thought it was sad about a deformed man who couldn't lay down to sleep and if he lay down, he'd die, you know, it was so heartbreaking. And for David Lynch to be able to take that script and to take that and bring some of his own thing to it and his own kind of be intuitive with it, but not smother it, you know, he still, he made like an incredibly handsome movie. You don't think, I give Mel Brooks deserves a lot of credit for seeing a racer head and being like, yeah, this guy could shoot Elephant Man with all these massive British actors and and something that needs a really specific, gentle touch to it. And John Hurt's performance is amazing. And, and uh, Anthony Hopkins is just, Anthony Hopkins, the first time he sees him, you don't, he just cries. Remember, it's so heartbreaking. And yeah, that, that was a brilliant scene where he comes in, you don't even show the Elephant Man, it's just, Anthony Hopkins' reaction to him and just one tear goes down his eye. I mean, it's pretty startling that the guy who was doing an elephant, the guy who did Racerhead could, um, on his second film and first big studio film, have the this kind of confidence of how to stage things and shoot things. It was pretty amazing. My, a friend of mine told me he saw Elephant Man in the theater and there was a scene where Elephant Man's talking to the, the singer woman and it's a very sweet, gentle scene and She's kind of looking at him like he's a human and she's saying, it's so nice to meet you. And it's this quiet moment. And the guy in the theater went, kill an elephant, man. (laughs) 
Like he's like, this is a monster movie, right? <laughs> When's Elephant Man gonna start killing people? <laughs>